Call us. 844-MOJO Live. 844-665-6548. This is Mojo in the morning. I, I hate you right now. I hate kind of a strong word. What, what's that? I hate kind of a strong word. You don't mean that. You don't mean hate. Hate's a strong word, Jackson. Well, how about this? I f***ing hate you. No, you don't. Come on. Uh, yeah, I do. I f***ing hate you. Oh, my God, just to be a college student away at school? I mean, come on. Did we sound like that when we were in college? <laughs> What's going on? It's Mojo in the morning. Patrick wants to comment on the War of the Roses. Hi, Patrick. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's up? Hey, I'd just like to say he said he's uh, sorry, and he said it a couple times. Well, let him prove it. Get, uh, get the other girlfriend on the phone. Yeah, let's see if he'll admit it to her that mm-hmm. he's got a yeah. girl back here. Yeah. I don't so mean to be sorry. rude. Tell him to prove it. But yeah. he doesn't even sound smart enough to me to juggle two different <laughs> girls. <laughs> uh, Mojo in the morning. Devon, hi. How's it going, Mojo? What's happening, man? You're on your way home from work or to work? No, I'm heading back to work. I'm a trucker. All right. What's up? What do you want to say? Uh, I just want to say he's uh, sounding pretty guilty there. He's sending flowers to a girl and wondering if she's cheating on her on him while... Uh, He's cheating on his girlfriend back home. Mm. Yeah, wasn't that the irony of the whole conversation? Mm-hmm. Crystal, hi, it's Mojo in the morning. Hi, how are you doing? Good, what's up? You know, I think that when you go off to college, your relationships back home are basically over or they're on hiatus. Yeah, I mean, never say you know, never, but I learned that the hard way, too. Yeah, you meet new people, you have new experiences. It's just not fair to think that, you know... You have to maintain this relationship 100 whatever miles away. It's too hard to keep relationships long distance when you're that young and you're trying to meet people at a new school. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I I I feel bad for her, but, you know, it's a learning experience. Yeah, and this is usually the time when a lot of those breakups from high school happen. It's the first time that you're back, you know, and you realize when you come back that maybe the person that you know from schools might might be a little bit more mature than the person that you, uh, you went to school with. Uh, in high school, I always need to talk to Shammy. Shammy's a regular here. It's not Sammy. It's Shammy. Hey, What's Shammy. up, Shammy? Hey, how you doing, Mojo in the morning? What's happening? What do you want to say? Oh, man, she deserves so much better. This guy's a piece of s***. Ah! Ah! At least you Did said I get it, it or nice no? Did I, no yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah, I think I got it here. Ah, okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks for overstating <laughs> the obvious. Thanks, Shammy. You sham head. <laughs> All right, take care. All I'm right. not even he's talking. Yeah, so. you lost your right to comment. Uh, Shammy, by the way, is now banned from the show. He's got to put soap in his mouth. Alina? Hi. Alina wants to comment on uh, Aiden. What's that? Um, seriously, I think my doorknob is smarter than that guy. <laughs> yeah, like, I think you're probably right. I know. I was thinking. Honestly, I'm just, and I'm not trying to be mean, but I think he may have been a bit touched. Uh, yeah. Maybe a bit slow. That's, that's a nice way of saying it. Because at first I thought, this guy's wake and bake. He's got a prescription. <laughs> yeah. Then I thought, no, he's just dumb. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I get, you know, you go away to college, the experience, but be a real man. And, and heck, be a real jerk and at least text a girl and say, eh, this isn't working out. Yeah, that's, that's that a good was, point. At very least, a text message. Yeah, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. it Mojo in the morning. Hi. Hey, bye. Uh, Haley, hi. Nope, Marnie. Marnie, I'm sorry, Marnie. Hi. Hi, I'm a longtime listener, but I want to tell you, hate might be a strong word, but she had every right to hate him. He's a double crosser. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and he's, a dumb he's, one at that. he is young, though. I mean, that's the other thing you got to take into account. Right, though. but I mean, my daughter's in college, and she's been with her boyfriend since she was 17, and they're still together. Yeah, you know the difference from right and wrong. Yeah, you're hey, old. Hey, man. be honest with me, mom. Do you really huh. want them to stay together for the rest of their lives? Or are you hoping that she and he kind of go their separate ways so that she can go experience the world a little bit? Um, okay, so hopefully she's not listening. But, yeah, <laughs> I kind of sort of hope that, like, you know, they 
kind of do. And, mm-hmm. you know, if it's meant to be, uh, then they come back to each other. Yeah, right. I, I get it. Young when they started dating. Yeah, yeah, I get it. As a parent, you know, who was somebody who met, you know, Chelsea when Chelsea was 17 and I was, you know, 19. And we ended up getting together. We both want the same thing for our kids. We want the, them to go out and date a bunch and, you know, be able to kind of see what happens. And then if it's meant to be to go back to their sweethearts later in life, then, let, you know, that will happen, right? Exactly. Uh, thanks for the call. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Yep. Have a uh, good day. Hey, you too. Uh, Dylan, what's going on? It's Mojo on the Morning Show. Hey, uh, D- Dylan. You got to turn your radio turn, down. Turn your radio friend. down. Later in life, like De- Dylan. There you go. Dylan, are you there? We Dude. love you too. Dylan. He still got his radio up. up again. He still got his radio <laughs> up. Hear himself. He likes You're as voice. dopey as the guy we just caught in War of the Roses. Come on. Yeah, you got that dumb look down. Uh, what's up, Christine? Hey, just wanted to say that she can do a million times better, and he's trash for doing that to her. And he should have had the decency to break up with her before going all the way to Texas. Because uh, I'm in college, too, and my ex had the decency to break up with me before he left. And I'm, I'm glad he did. Yeah, if you feel uncertain about things, then it's it's time for a clean break so you could both go and enjoy college. And if, like we said just 10 minutes ago, if it's meant to be, you'll gravitate back towards each other. Christine, were you glad at the time or were you really upset with him? I was, I was upset at first, but now we're friends. So it's kind of okay, and like I have my boyfriend from my new college, and he has his girlfriend Great. in Marquette. So now, okay, it's so all he, good now. He's going to school. You said Marquette, so there's in Milwaukee. Where are you going to school? Or Marquette uh, up uh, north? Oh, you. Oh, you. Where, which Marquette yeah. is he going to? You mean to? Northern Marquette? And, nor, yeah, he's yeah. Northern he's Northern Michigan. Michigan. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah. By the way, I I hate to see what the girls look like up there. Oh my God, there's gorgeous girls <laughs> Come up on. there. Don't stereotype. Nice. Come never, on. You've never been to Marquette, Michigan. Right, listen. Very pretty girls really up there. Pretty. So, she is? Yeah, she's prettier than me. But it's is okay. she prettier with her winter coat on or prettier with her winter coat off? Um, On, because oh, oh. I have a nicer body. But <laughs> oh, okay. See, there you go. I knew it. <laughs> uh, what's going on, Jennifer? Hi, Mojo. How are you? Good. What's up? I actually think um, Jackie's perfect revenge for her dirtbag ex-boyfriend now is that she should tell the other girl that he was cheating on her now. And so like, he has no sweetheart for the holidays coming up. Well, hopefully she knows what's going on because maybe, I don't know, she's going to be listening to this and he'll he'll slip and somebody will slip at school and say something. I, I hope so, to be honest, because that's yeah. just that's wrong for him to do it to her. But the perfect revenge would be that right. both the females found out. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, can we invite her out? to go hang out with us at the club since uh, we're going to be out on the busiest bar night of the year, which is the day before Thanksgiving. I, yeah. uh, I understand that uh, the uh, the station in Detroit, our station in Detroit is going to be at uh, 29 and Novi. So maybe we invite her out and she can go find somebody new for herself. Yes, that'd be perfect for her. So Jackie, <laughs> if you want that, we'll get you the VIP treatment for that one. Uh, are uh, Grand Rapids and Toledo doing bar nights next week on Tuesday or a Thursday or Wednesday, whatever the hell day it is. Hello. That's Not a great question. No. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Mike. I don't think so. Let's get something I thought, together. I thought, I thought Mike and yeah. Christian would be out for sure. Uh, I thought so too. But <laughs> well, <laughs> we're available. Well, right, then Mike? drive on over to Novi, Michigan. <laughs> Done. All right. <laughs> Mojo in the morning. War of the Roses. This is the home of War of the Roses. Mojo. Mojo in the morning.